Do you like tiles? Because I like tiles. You can make them with squares, you can make them with circles, you can even make them with bananas. There's nothing wrong with it. We all know what tiling is, right? You just take something and then you place multiple copies of itself in some sort of repetitive manner. Let's say I want to tile circles. I could just use transform. It has this tile tab where you can choose to repeat and then scale down. The problem is it's way too repetitive. It's boring. What I can do instead is to tile a UV map, play with it and then use it to remap the initial image. Let's start by adding a GLSL top. Use this little trick to get the UV texture. Once we have it, let's put it through a transform. Scale it down to 0.2, go to Tile, Extend, Repeat. We have a circle, now let's add a remap top. It's the same as just using a transform. When dealing with remaps, you probably want to turn off the pixel interpolation and use a 32-bit float. It's easy to get a 5x5 grid, but if you want a 3x3, you're probably gonna spend some time dialing in the scale manually, so let's just add a constant chop. Set the name to size, add another constant, set it to 1, Add a math, connect both constants, set combine chops to divide, you can also rename this one to size so that it would make more sense. Go to transform, set the math to control the scale, set pivot to zero and now you can get a grid of any size by changing the constant. Let's add another transform and rotate it by 90 degrees. Add a noise stop, set it to the size of our grid. Disable interpolation and set it to random. Connect it to a threshold, disable interpolation, connect it to a feed top, and disable interpolation again. Now you can add a math top. Connect it like this, you can get new patterns by changing the noise scene. Connect remap to another transform, scale it even further down with repeat tiling to extend the pattern. You can insert another transform here, set the translate to appstime.seconds multiply by 0.2 and enable repeat tiling. You can also add a lookup with the ramp, change some transform styling to Miro instead of repeat, use another type of noise to animate it, use a movie filing instead of just a circle, or add a lot of blur to the resulting UV map so that no one could tell that you're using that banana again. That's it, feel free to like and subscribe if you want more short tutorials. See you in the next one.